sitting here in Crow Park, you know, with no crowd, isn't giving you a chance to kind of take it in before you go back to down before your final sessions. Absolutely, like it's a magnificent stadium, and I think myself and a couple of the other managers were just standing staring out and weren't actually saying anything. You know, you're taking in just how fantastic it is. You know, but I suppose it boils down at the end of the day. It's just you know, football. You know, and, and the stadium is brilliant and all the rest of it. But um, you know, same goalposts, same for exactly, get exactly, and it's it's exactly the same. So you know, you could be overawed very easily by by the surroundings. Um, Like, and it's everybody's dream. We've all been brought here. I was brought here before. The stadium looked like this when I was very young. Um, and you always dreamed of coming here, um, maybe as a player more than a manager, I suppose. And, but now we're here. It's, it's a fantastic opportunity. And I suppose it's a dream. It really is to be here. Like, um, it's class. And you just hope that the team do themselves justice on the day. And we do ourselves justice that you can hold your head up no matter what happens. And that you, you give a good account of yourself. And, that's really, that's all we can ask, really, of the thing. Getting relegated last year, I suppose for yourselves, the aim was to try and get back into an All-Ireland final. Well, that initially, our aim was to build a really tight team unit, because relegation doesn't happen because of one single thing, you know, there's a combination of things, a series of unfortunate events, if you like, and there was a, a series, and it happened. Um, now, obviously, the girls didn't get a playoff either, but um, that's the way it is, you know, things happen, so... For us, primarily, it was that togetherness, that tight team unit, and that team that support each other on and off the field. And we said, and whether we are promoted this year or not, no matter what, there needs to be a team there that are inspiring young people to be part of this. Um, and there's been a when a couple of the girls finished with minor, there are six or seven of them have come in, and jeepers, they've lifted it. You know, if you're talking about somebody coming back from injury, and much has lifted it. We've had that in the likes of Clara Bavena, Kim McKay, and we Alice came back from long injuries. Yeah. You know. And it was a real boost, but maybe even greater than that was the miners coming in and showing that they're not listening in the program. They're not in your match day thirty, but my God, they're giving everything, and they don't care who they're marking and training. There's nothing better than someone who is young and eager. Yeah, absolutely, and they run the legs for you as well. They never seem to tire, and you can hear some of the girls say, "Does she ever get?" Tired? Are you rubbing your hands, going, "This is great"? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's brilliant, like because they're providing some um, kind of challenge, you know. And, and some of the girls were laughing, they were saying, yeah, we're, we're all encouraging them now, and them young miners are looking and saying, I'm taking your spot next year, you know, when I'm a year older, so, but that's the kind of environment you want, and yeah. that genuinely was our aim at the start of the year, that we needed a team in down that are willing to go beyond just a medal, that wanted more than just take their medal and run, that they wanted to be there for the long haul, that down football, you know, is better than what we're currently showing, and the relegation last year, the last game played last year, um, we felt were better than that all and off the field. You've had the advantage as well this year of playing Division 3 football, so you've played the likes of Clare and Kildare, who are both in the intermediate final. Do you think that has been a help for you in the junior championship? Um, I think it has, and we talked about recently, I think our league campaign was massively beneficial in that we had a couple of injuries, um, short-term injuries that meant we had to turn to people that weren't maybe being players early on in the league, and they're now being players because they got that time, and it kind of worked. Sometimes you need a wee bit of luck, and it was really good for us that we did get those injuries because without them a couple of the other girls wouldn't have been given big roles in big games and like you know we went out to play the likes of Wexford um, and it was Neil King an 18 year old who scored the equalising point in the 59th minute and you know that was so important and not a stand to Neil you know um, and it allowed them training people are looking over their shoulder saying you know this is the team you want to be part of that no spaces are safe no you know you have to go hard out of here or nothing's a given and that's what everybody wants. That's what you want to be part of. You don't want to be the only one there looking over your shoulder saying, sick, we've no subs. You know, um, now we, we don't call them subs at all. We finishers. And probably the hardest thing for us on Sunday is that we have more than five finishers and we have people that really deserve to be on the field. And that's going to be really, really tough. Um, you know, we know that there's not enough there's not enough um, substitutions allowed. Um, and no matter what happens, whether we're winning or losing the game, that's going to be something that will that'll sit with us, you know. Over the last number of years, we have noticed how the game has evolved. And as you said about those finishers, subs, it's not really who the 15 start. It's the players who can come on and make an impact as well. It's all about the panel, really. Absolutely. Without them, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't do anything, I suppose. And even, you know, 
we were saying like we needed the more than 30 if you're in house games you know if anybody has any wee niggle on a given day then you're down to what 15 against 14 so you need that that panel and you know what when we won the Ulster final there against Fermanagh it was the finishers that won it they really did you know they came on and lifted it to a new level and we were delighted with that so it was also another group of 10 girls who didn't get a sniff of football that day and you know that's that's what the team is all about like and those girls have selflessly continued to push themselves despite so many things going on in their own home lives like us all like we all do um, for the team and I suppose that was something that we, we hoped would come in a way you know that that you would have that kind of dilemma or whatever but we needed to make sure early on that, that the, our idea and our vision of what this team would be um, would happen and that, that was so important that the girls it was we were together in this no matter what and you know like Tasha Ferris has been scoring um, really well and that golden boot um, thing and all the rest and then Orla Boyle got player of the match and the Ulster final and the two girls would be the first to say it yeah. and all those individual things actually matter it is about the team and that just epitomises what this team is about like it's class and they really are an incredible group of players and um, we're delighted to be able to work with them like um, you know the people that have come in in the back room as well are exceptional and sometimes things just work and we said like it's worked this year we've had a brilliant year we've had such a journey we really have training has been first class you know there's times you seem to be enjoying it oh, it's brilliant it really is brilliant and I suppose me and Peter were there for three years before and Mark Poland came in towards the end of that and bits and pieces and I suppose we were I and Mark up as much as he was I and us up to see what it suit and it suits brilliantly um, Mark is uh, exactly what we are you know his style of coaching his positive style of coaching his and as someone